Welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle and today we're going to be talking about how to stay persistent in your 3D reality when the things around you is going really haywire. A lot of people have been emailing me because I do have a membership outside of YouTube and I've also been reading the comments and I want you guys to know that it's okay to feel the way that you're feeling. It's okay to feel like you want to give up on the things that you know you've been manifesting or trying which we got to get rid of the word trying now we are doing we are being and here's what i want you to know the message is that there's nothing that you need to be doing except for refocusing and resetting yourself in alignment with your desires throughout the day okay you are always experiencing movement. And by the way, being delusional still works. Not being delusional in the sense of, you know, not paying your bills or being delusional and being a, a psycho and stalking people. We're not talking about that type of delusion. We're talking about a better word for delusion is being bold and having faith. And saying to yourself that no matter what my 3D reality is showing me, I'm still going to persist in what I know to be true, which is that I am the operant power of my reality. So can we take a moment to accept the words, I am the operant power of my reality. Delusional thinking has gotten a bad rap. But when we say be delusional, we don't mean that you're doing something that's going to be like in a really crazy, psychotic way. And by the way, as well, for those of you who may find it hard to be delusional, I want you to look up Brazen Impudence. It's um, included in a Neville Goddard lecture that I will put somewhere up here on the screen. And basically what Neville is saying is that, look, you already know what your heart is telling you that you desire to have. Any desire. Refuse to accept no as an answer. Put your heart, your mind, your words on the thing that you desire to have. And do not look to your left or your right. You keep blinders on. Have you guys ever seen um, the horses when they race, like uh, watch any of the horse races? And the reason why they have these blinders is because there's a good reason why if your horse looks to the left or the right, now they get to see who's next to them racing, what other horse, and then now all of a sudden their focus is thrown off. So I want you to put blinders on. I want you to literally put your blinders on. You listening to this video. Stop looking for validation outside of yourself. Remember, instant manifestations happen when you focus consistently on living in the wish fulfilled, living in the end result. And so if there's something that you truly desire to have right now, I want you to ask yourself, did you give up? You just said, okay, to hell with it. Uh, oh, well, it is what it is. Or are you still consciously calling things into existence by watering and nurturing your vision for yourself? I want you to know, do not give up. If you're thinking about giving up, do not give up. Persist in knowing that conscious manifestation is not logic. It's really based on faith. And the faith really comes with you honing in on focusing. Remember that the 3D is reflecting what you've been thinking all day, every day. It's, it's reflecting your thoughts about who you are. 
It's reflecting the thoughts about people who are influencing you. Let's just say you're looking to manifest a new job or a new career or transition into working for yourself. The thoughts that you're thinking about that is reflecting to you. I don't know what I'm doing. How am I going to make money? How am I going to pay my bills with my dreams and my aspirations? These are thoughts that I used to have before I became an entrepreneur. And what I will tell you is that when those thoughts will come in my mind, sometimes I did react, but most times I was like, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. I am in my desired reality in my imagination. Why don't you guys go to your imagination? I think this is the issue with most people is that they refuse to believe that the real reality is your imagination. I think people refuse to accept that fact is that the 3D is an illusion. It's residual. That your 4D imagination here energetically goes out into the ethers and brings down to the 3D. Tell me in the comments if you're having issues with accepting that the only real reality is your 4D. That's the only real reality. And are you having issues with accepting that you are the operant power that you control your reality? Can we get into now something that I want to leave you guys with, which is a breathing exercise. I am an EFT practitioner and in my membership, which will be linked below in the description box, it's called the Sweet Spot Mindset Group Coaching. And what's really special about this membership is that it's outside of YouTube. So we're not on social media's time and the algorithm. We're actually on our own timeline and our own algorithm because we are free to speak how we want to speak with um, Zoom sessions, workshops, masterclasses. We have a seven day mental diet reset coming up. It's a self-concept mental diet reset, but it's more so about the relationships that you desire to have to flourish. So it could be friendships, specific person, work life, or just a relationship with yourself. Because obviously self-concept is about you and how you feel about yourself, how you see yourself, how you expect to be treated. So if you're interested in that, June 1st, we'll be starting and you got to sign up for it. The membership is only $20 at the moment. And when I tell you $20 is what it is because I want everybody to have access to it. When you join, you get a WhatsApp link that's going to send you to a private group chat where I'm in there all day, every day for the most part. You may not see me for like a couple of days out of the week when I rest. But um, I'm answering questions, we're inspiring each other, we're laughing, we're joking. It's our own little utopia outside of the YouTube, social media BS that people are promoting. And it's over a hundred hours of content, free courses, replays, and all that good stuff. And you can, within 30 days of joining the membership, you have access to all of that. If after 30 days you want to move on, then you're more than welcome to do that. But I want to offer this to you right now. And I have to tell you because I am seeing results from people in the membership. And this is why I'm making a video too, because I had a couple of people who are new that asked this question about how to persist. And I'm like, girl, you're not being delusional enough. Do you know how delusional I had to be to leave a nine to five working and making money and then deciding to be on my own? needing to pay bills do you know how delusional you have to be when you're sick and in the hospital and you're believing in your healing you see nobody's going to be able to tell you how to do this but i'm going to implore for you to just start to have faith that is so relentless that nobody can tell you nothing it is mine i want you to repeat this so now we're going to get into the exercise a breathing exercise that i do as an eft practitioner is i want you to take a deep breath Relax your shoulders. If you're driving, please do not do this exercise. Or if you are operating heavy machinery or if you're doing anything that requires you to have your focus on it, please do not do this exercise. You can always um, do it after you get home in a relaxed state. But for those of you who can do it right now, 
I'm going to tell you how to reset your nervous system really quickly so that you can reset yourself and focus on only the things that you desire to have. And I want you to start to experience instant manifestations when you can release and let go of the resistance around the things that you think are hard to manifest. All right. So let's do what we do. I want you to drop your shoulders. Take a couple of deep breaths. And I want you to take your two fingers here. This is a part of EFT tapping. You don't have to believe in this, but um, your body will respond just based on you just gently touching. So take your two fingers and just gently touch on your clavicle, anywhere on your clavicle. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath from your diaphragm. Push out through your mouth. And I want you to repeat to yourself right now. I am safe. I am well. Everything works out in my favor. I release and let go of things that do not serve me. Take a deep breath in. And this is going to help you over time Whenever you're feeling despair, this is going to help you to realize that you are in control of your thoughts. You are in control of the things that you think are outside of you. You're in control of it because it all is created in your imagination. Be delusional in a way that is having blind faith, stubborn faith, the faith of a mustard seed. Go forth with affirming, it is mine. Type down in the comments, it is mine. Wake up. When you think of your desires and you feel like, oh, I don't know if I can have it. Nope. Change that around. Become delusional enough to believe in what people tell you that you cannot do. I want you to type down in the comments, it is mine. And share with other people this video if you feel like somebody needs to pick me up. If you feel like somebody needs to know that they have the power to speak things into existence, share this video. I dare you to bless somebody else with something that is helping you as well. And the last thing I want to say is that my channel is not just about one dimensional things. I do meditations on this channel. I talk about the law of attraction, law of assumption, quantum physics, and so much more. Just know that if you are subscribed to this channel, I have so many beautiful things to share with you. As I grow, I want you to come along with me. Love you. Bye.